Hi, my name is Yulia and I'm a trainer from Belarus. In this video I'm going to tell you what is non-formal education and what are the key principles and approaches that any non-formal education activity is based on. Historically, non-formal education was happening in many places outside of formal education institutions and now it takes place in a variety of uh, learning environments and it is not bounded to conference and training rooms. It can happen in a street, or in a youth club, in a forest or in a museum or any other place. Nowadays, approaches and methods of non-formal education are used cross-sectorally including in schools, universities and in companies. Non-formal education is based on achieving uh, learning objectives that are planned in advance within a specific time frame. It has a structure which is flexible in order to meet learners' needs. And it is implemented with a specific support of a trainer, educator or facilitator. Non-formal education is an integral part of lifelong learning concept. It helps individuals to acquire and maintain knowledge, skills, attitude and behaviors that are needed to adapt to a continuously changing environment. So let's check the main principles of non-formal education. Participation in any non-formal education activity is voluntary. And the same goes for the uh, training activity any part of the training activity. The learner has a right not to participate. We trainers create opportunities for people to get out of their comfort zone and motivate them to take the challenge, but the learners decide whether they do it or not. Voluntary participation is often taken for granted, but it is crucial because it affects learners' motivation and voluntary participation sets the ground for the learning. The next principle is active participation. The learners play an active role in the educational process. They take actions, they have ownership of their learning and they take responsibility for their role in the group process. Trainers encourage peer communication and learning and we create an um, encouraging environment for the learners to be motivated and feel safe to take actions. And it also goes for the learners who facilitate learning opportunities for each other. In non-formal education, the group serves as a source of learning. We as the trainers create opportunities to experiment, act and reflect together with the other members of the group. So every participant can harvest the potential and resource of the group learning. Non-formal education is learner-centered. Learners are in the center of educational process. In practice, this means that learners decide what, how and when they want to learn and they choose what is relevant for them and their context. The training activity should be planned with a needs assessment that is made in advance. And the activity itself should be flexible enough with uh, adjusting the content and method to the learner's needs. And this also means that the learners assess their learning outcomes according to the learning goals and their baseline competences. Uh, next approach is experiential learning. Non-formal education is based on learning by doing approach using experiential learning cycle where learners act, uh, reflect, generalize and apply. Reflection is a crucial step in transferring knowledge and values to learners. For more details, you can watch our video about experiential learning and debriefing. So non-formal education is based on holistic approach. Learning in non-formal education settings involves cognitive, emotional and physical levels of learning. In practice, that means that we try to activate head or knowledge hands or skills, and heart as attitudes. And non-formal education is value-based. It helps people to acquire and maintain essential competence that contribute to their personal and professional development, to social inclusion, to active participation, to democracy and human rights values. In this video, we talked about principles of non-formal education. Voluntary participation, active participation, group as a source of learning, learner certainness, experiential learning, holistic approach and value-based. If you want to know how to implement them in practice, watch our other videos. U-Train is co-funded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. For more videos on non-formal education, please check out our channel and subscribe.